Uh, what did you think about Plato's closet, the grab bag oh, thing today? It was pretty trash. Like, I didn't expect those cheap brands that they have. To that's pretty much what it came down to. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe we just looked in a few unlucky bins, but it seemed like all the bins were like that. Yeah, I just don't see how they're pretty uh, strict in accepting certain things and how they ever accepted those items. Well, they go on on style, too. Yeah. You know? So if something is stylish, yeah. then... Most of the thing, yeah, most of the tops that I came across were stylish, though. But, yeah. Yeah. So it was disappointing, right? Yeah, it was disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, it was very disappointing, especially with our schedule for the day and how tight it became because of that. But I'm still glad that we did it. I don't regret not going out there because, yeah, you just don't pass those deals up. Right. You have to experience it. And we now that we experience it, then, you know, then we think about the next time it happens. But yeah, at least we have an idea of how it's going to be. Yeah. Because, yeah, otherwise... We'll always be curious about a big mm -hmm. deal like that and not doing mm -hmm. it. So. Well, and it worked out because I think the third bin I looked at, I was like, okay, uh, can you just do this? I'm going to go inside and look at the shoes. And we yeah. ended up finding a pair of shoes. If you want to grab them for me. Yep. That'd be awesome. Um, Yeah, we ended up grabbing a pair of slides. They are Jordan Retro uh, 4s something or other and they're in pretty decent condition very yeah. little wear on the bottom yeah um they're pretty clean so those will flip anywhere from uh 70 to 100 dollars and uh that's not a bad return so we ended up just yeah. leaving with that and uh $14. Bucks. Uh, we ended up leaving with just that and like three pounds of clothes. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we touched on that and got your idea because mine was basically the same. Yeah, I, we definitely won't go to one of those again. Uh, it's basically a Play-Doh's uh, garbage sale. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, this is its last chance before it goes to landfill. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty much going to toss all of that. Yeah. And they should. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We got, I don't know, how many items do you think we got? Mm, like five, six. Yeah. Maybe. So, yeah, I for mean, like, it wasn't bad. For like nine bucks, so. Yeah. It wasn't bad, but it definitely wasn't good, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we won't do that again, but at least we're learning things to do and not to do, so. I definitely like, I enjoy going to Plato's Closet on the 90% off sales. Those are worth it because they still have good items. Yeah. And I mean, if you can get them for 20 cents or whatever, then that's worth it. But some items and the $2 per pound, just mm. if I'm going to risk it, I'm going to go to Goodwill Outlet. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Here is the quick clip that I was able to take at Plato's Closet going through these shoes. Yeah. Just laying here with Kiki because she had a seizure today. She's relaxing. Do you think it's going to be cheaper getting these candles or the spray? Say that again? Do you think it's going to be cheaper getting these candles or the spray? Yeah. 
Sammy, I love you. <laughs> so often I forget to give him attention just because Kiki has special needs. She's over there just looking up. Kiki, you okay? He just loves his mama and all he wants is some attention. I could really use a nap right now. That might happen. So, um... I just wanted to come on because I I watched um well just to start off basically Rich has been telling me for so long that I should be recording and um giving reviews on shows and movies that I watch on Netflix and Hulu and things like that and currently one of the movies that is trending is called Moxie it's ranked number seven out of ten in uh, the United States right now and um I the main reason I watched it is because I love Amy Poehler but um I don't really consider myself a feminist if that makes sense like um I'm definitely a feminist but not an excessive feminist if that makes sense um I just believe in equality and that's you know no extreme measures no super extreme measures the other way but um that movie was um was eye-opening for me that I mean I know that we as women and as girls go through a lot of different things that men do, but also, like, I mean, I feel like I've gone through experiences that I can't necessarily shout out to the world, you know? And the fact that um, that was a platform for them, and I don't want to give any spoilers, but it was, it was basically a platform for them to say how they really feel and I think that we all deserve that so um I cried it was a good movie and uh I think it's definitely worth the watch whether you're a woman or a man I think that if you have kids and we're right now we're going through this society where everybody is shamed and everybody like you don't you don't get but get by doing nothing like there's no way to sweep yourself under a rug so um you know i think it's important for us to acknowledge and realize the impact that social media has on our kids and on us in general that we we're so busy in and consumed by social media that we can't tell whether it's negative or positive and more often than not it's negative so just trying to consume more positive content and being the positive content is important and um so it was a really good movie and there were some laughs in it <laughs> um there were definitely some sadder moments and uh I appreciate the movie I thought it was really good and uh I would even watch it again so um, if you guys have the time to take out of your day to uh, watch that if you are a feminist or if you're not and you just like good Amy Poehler movies, then uh, I think that was definitely one for you. Hey, look at mom. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll check you guys next time.